Welcome to Vintage Speed. This will be an in-depth video of how to install your VW Bug handbrake. Now here in front of you, you have the actual handbrake and the equipment and tools you will need for the installation. Over here, you have a hex key or an Allen key size 4, a socket wrench size 10, and a ring spanner size 10. Now my colleague here will show you how to install this handbrake onto the here. Beetle. Now prior to actually installing this onto your beetle, you're gonna have to remove this part, okay? This pin over here, okay? And then you'll have that uh, the assembly point in the beetle where it'll sit in between. And the tube, you have to put the these two pieces over here. They need to match up, you see? See, they can get kind of, uh, you know, not un misaligned. You have to make sure they're, they align up properly. And then once you put it into the socket, then you put the pin in. And whilst doing that, once this is in, you have to make sure, well, before that, you need to make sure the cable, the two cables running have to be under these two, uh, uh, I guess you could call it two channels over here. So when you're installing it onto there, you have to make sure the two cables are running under these two channels. And then you put it in and then making sure everything is aligned, then you secure it with the pin. Now, my colleague is gonna show you how it's actually gonna be done. So the space is gonna be a bit cramped. You might not get that clear of a view. That's why I'm explaining this beforehand. Whilst you're doing that, if you find adjusting it being a bit difficult, you can loosen this knot, then everything became, becomes easier to move around, okay? These two knots, you can screw them a bit loose. And once everything's aligned and it's secured with the pin inside, then you could, again, secure and fasten these bolts again, all right? Okay, so we're gonna have to remove the spacer and the, the nuts first. And remove the pin. And make sure the cable is on that two uh, positions where we're pointing out right now that's where the cable will run through so make sure they run through those two uh, those through channels all right so the cable should come in from the bottom there's a hook over there which you need to hook under the cable and use the pin and attach it back into the opening. Okay, uh, so when you're trying to position it back, if, it's, if you find difficulty, you can loosen the two nuts that we just adjusted on top. up to the point where you have to install this disc on top, right? I'm gonna remove it really quick. The cable will go in through those two holes over here and over here. However, there's one thing you have to keep in mind. No matter if you're a left-handed drive or right-handed drive, the longer distance, there's the two holes, right? And then there's another hole in the middle. The, the wider difference between the two holes is the right side you will always have it on the right side and the shorter distance over here will always be on the left side. Okay, if you put it the other way around, it will not work. So you will need to make sure 
that this the cable goes at the correct hole okay there now that perfectly aligns if you were to switch it around it wouldn't so make sure the longer side is pointing to the right side the shorter side is pointing to the left side no matter if it's an LHD or an RHD drive. Once the hole is in, then you secure it with the nuts. Okay, all right. bit more when you're actually doing this on your own you can kind of fine-tune how tight you want this to be but for example now you're getting it balanced on both sides both the length is the same when you're testing make sure you push down then pull and then release and then push down then push down on the the hand over here this is not the way you should do it by doing by pulling directly like this that's not the correct way I mean, you can, but we don't advise. You have to pull on the handle, then release, pull, then pull up, then release, okay? Don't do it like that's the wrong way. You always have to fully compress the lever, then pull or remove, okay? For the installation of the video, uh, some parts, some angles might not be that clear. So if you have any questions, definitely DM us or email us, and we will provide an even in-depth more uh, answer to any questions you might have.